All of the daily safety checks illustrated in this video are noted in your owner's manual and on the safety information sticker located on your door. If you do not have either of these, be sure to ask your service technician for a supply. Take a good overall look at the door and the immediate surrounding area. Check the door area for any tripping or slipping hazards. Check that the threshold is complete and secure with all required screws. Check to see that all guide rails are firmly anchored. Pick up any trash in the area. Check all door panels for any cracked or broken glass. With the door open, grasp the lock style of the door and attempt to move it vertically and horizontally. There should be no looseness in the door pivots or in connections between the door and operator. Observe traffic routing to the door. Plan traffic routing so pedestrians will approach the door straight on and not from an angle. There should be no bulletin boards, literature racks, merchandise displays, or other attractions in the door area that could cause pedestrians difficulty in using the doorway. Make sure that all of the appropriate safety decals are on the doors. These decals inform the user of intended traffic flow and appropriate cautions. It is very important to check the door activating devices. If your door is equipped with electronic sensors, which exist in many styles and shapes, check their operation by performing the following steps. Make sure you perform this check for each door leaf. Walk toward the door at a normal pace. Approach the door from several angles. The door should start to open when you are about four to five feet from the door face and stop without impact. Stand motionless in the door opening for at least four seconds. The door should not close. Walk past the threshold into the swing area and stop for 10 seconds. The door should remain open. Move clear of the swing path area. The door should remain open for at least one and a half seconds and should close slowly and smoothly. Now, with the door in the closed position, carefully move toward the swing side of the door first, and then have another person move slowly toward the approach side of the door. As long as you are in the swing path of the door, it either will not open or will open at a creep speed. If the door is used for two-way traffic, walk toward the door from the swing side. The door should open before you reach the swing path of the door. If your door is equipped with floor mat actuators, the test will be performed in this manner. If you have multiple mats, be sure to check all of them. Step on the opening mat in several places. The door should open smoothly to the full open position and stop without impact. Now, step through the opening onto the safety mat. The door should remain open. Check the mat in several places to be sure there are no inactive areas. Now, step off of the safety mat surface. The door should remain open for a minimum of one and a half seconds before it starts to close. Next, carefully stand on the safety mat and then have someone else step onto the activate mat. The door should not open. Repeat the safety mat test in several places. Check the mat molding and threshold. It should be complete and secure with all required screws. Check to see that all guide rails are firmly anchored. Should the door fail to operate as described in the preceding daily safety checks, or at any other time for any reason, 
Do not attempt to repair or adjust the door yourself. Turn the door off, secure in a safe manner, and call an authorized automatic door service company.